Martin Schleier holla. Where in the next two hours we could see the stepping into the spotlight of the next Mary Lou Retton or Nadia Comaneci or Olga Corbett or any one of the some 300 aspirants to the title of champion of the world. It is merely the mastery of the moment that stands between them and greatness. Will it be Brandy Johnson, America's next great hope, or someone from some place who's never before produced a world champion in this most demanding sport? The stories that will set the tone for the gymnastics world for the next Olympiad will be played out tonight here in Stuttgart, West Germany, as ESPN, the Total Sports Network, presents the 25th renewal of the World Championships of Gymnastics. Tonight, the women's team competition. Hello, everybody. I'm Barry Tompkins, and welcome to the World Championships here in Stuttgart. The women taking center stage tonight. These are the optional portions of the team competition. And look at the standings at the end of the compulsories. 50% of the scoring, remember, is judged right here. The Soviets, no surprise there. They are number one. Romania in second place with China in third, and the United States in fourth place. While with me for expert commentary, Olympic medalist Kathy Johnson. And Kathy, I think you have to look at that position for the United States and say, way to go. The Americans did exactly what they optimistically hoped to do, and that was finish in the top four in the compulsories, so they get to compete in the final round with the best in the world. Because if you're going to have a shot at moving up into medal contention, you've got to compete in that round. There is one name that I think is going to start to creep into the hearts and minds of Americans, Brandy Johnson. Exactly. The entire team outdid themselves in compulsory, and everybody was a little bit concerned about Brandy since she had that virus about a month ago. But she looks strong as ever and is sitting pretty in eighth position. Probably the be-all and end-all question, though. Can anyone catch the Soviets? They've got 1.6, a little over 1.6 lead. The Chinese are as well prepared as they've ever been, but Romania is really the only ones that have a shot at that, but it's a long one. Well, also with us tonight, Olympic gold medalist Bart Connor, the Romanians, Bart, and the Soviets. That's a story that's been going on for years. And it's such a terrific team competition because in the men's competition, the Soviets totally dominate, but in the women's competition, this is always the most exciting battle. Now, remember, the world champion team currently are the Romanians. They won in 1987. Olympic Games, they have a strong lead, but anything can happen, and we've seen that happen here in the team finals. And this is really where it all starts, too. Some of the names that you won't know until tonight, and all of a sudden, they'll pop up and they'll be with us till the Olympic Games. People like Daniela Silivash, who we saw last year, the strongest competitor, certainly, from the Soviets is Boganskaya. She's the current European champion, and she is something else to watch. A lot of things to tell you about tonight. The North Korean team will be on hand. A lot of outstanding young gymnasts there, too, who you just don't see very much. Boy, have we got a lot to talk about. The 1989 World Gymnastics Championships are being brought to you by Domino's Pizza Incorporated. Hot, fresh, delicious pizza. Domino's Pizza. Nobody delivers better. By Bud Light. Everything else is just a light. And by Burger King. If you want to give people what they want, sometimes you've got to break the rules. send you for a Bud Light, and you bring back... Well, if you want the one light that outshines them all, ask for Bud Light. So, there are no men here, there's an unlimited supply of Bud Light, and we can never leave. Correct. Because everything else is just a light. We can live with that. Yeah. Jakob Smirna for Best Western Hotels. When we came to America, my mom and dad thought Columbus was the guy who discovered Ohio. So I gave them this free Best Western travel guide. It's full of maps, travel tips, and many locations with senior citizen rates. They liked it so much that ever since they've been in the car discovering America with their Best Western travel guide. Hi, Mom. Hi. They'll like it even better when they learn to drive. <laughs> Welcome to Burger King. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. Come again? Fuzzy, wuzzy, wasn't fuzzy. Wuzzy. 
You'd like a BK double? Oh, which BK double? Rubber dub dub. A new salsa double with jalapeno cheese? BK double cheeseburgers, five in all, including the new salsa double and the new barbecue bacon double, only at Burger King. Thank you. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Barry Tompkins with Kathy Johnson and Bart Connor. We are watching the optional portion of the team competition for women. The Soviet Union in first place, Romania second ahead of China, and the United States still to come in fourth place. Right now, this is the rotation just prior to the top four, and some very fine individuals in this particular rotation. Okay, this is the first major competition since the Olympic Games in 88 that the new judging criteria will be used. It's basically about the same in terms of the breakdown. The value parts, which is worth 3.0, in this competition, it's the 1B rules, meaning they need three A's, three B's, and two C's. Notice that no D's are necessary for the basic requirement, D being the higher level difficulty. The combination, which is the construction of the exercise, is worth 1.5. The execution is worth 5.10. Notice that that adds up to 9.6. Here's where the difference is. The bonus points is worth 0.4. You get the bonus points only if you have an additional D or moves of original difficulty or combinations of original moves. Wang Bo Sil now second vault, 9437 on her first. Yurchenko or round off layout goal, a beautiful ball, a little stutter step on the landing. I really don't think she needed to take that hop. So we await the score of Wang Bo Sil. This is the rotation with teams five through eight. Remember the United States right now in fourth position after the compulsories. China, Romania, and the Soviet Union will be in the rotation with them. Another look. She has excellent position onto the horse. Good twist, nice open position in that layout vault. And still no score for her. Remember, two vaults in women's competition, and we'll let you know how Wang does. 9-6 was her score, so she'll use that. 9-6, 3-7. Meanwhile, on floor exercise from Canada, this is Lea Moma. Make that Moma. Full juicing double back, pike position. Good, strong beginning. Again, there's that gymnastic series that I spoke about. It's one of the requirements, and if they don't do that, it's a tenth of a point deduction. Triple turn, little bobble on that last part of the turn. That's called a Shushanova, invented by Elena Shushanova. It's a round off straddle jump, and then they land in a prone position or on their stomach. Second tumbling run, she does a whip back due to a double fall. Very clean, nothing really spectacular though. Finishes with a double back. A little hard on that landing. Managed to stick it. It's an interesting acrobatic move. And another good strong routine for Canada. Leia Homa of Canada. She's doing quite well in the exercise. And meanwhile on balance beam. We are looking at Deliana Vodvicharova. Vodvicharova. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> she competed in the American Cup this past year. She's in much better shape here. She did well in the Olympic Games in Seoul. I think she was in the United States on a downtime. Round up back handspring with a half turn. A little bit late on that half turn. Land. Her legs aren't completely straight on all of the skills. That's going to counter. Nine seven three seven on the floor exercise of Leia Homa a moment ago from Canada. Very good score.
She does a lot of twisting elements in her floor exercise, even uses on the uneven bars with a mount, a round off back with a full. Some gymnasts are flippers and some are twisters, and she seems very comfortable in the twisting position, Kathy. It's probably much easier for her to twist. She's a little bit on the tall side for a gymnast and makes flipping a little bit tougher, so I'd choose twisting as well. Preparing for the dismount. Round off back handspring. Triple twist. We just spoke about it. Tiny bit of trouble on, on the landing. Didn't quite get the twist around, but that's a difficult dismount. Yana Vodnicharova. How'd I do that time? Very good. A little bit better. That's it. Also, have to be a twister to pronounce her name. <laughs> Here's another look. This dismount pass is very difficult. She does a round off back handspring. You really have to line it up straight. And in order to get three twists around and try and go for a solid landing is difficult on B. Gets a little cockeyed with those legs. They twist it up a little bit. And of course, the judges will take a deduction for that. So we await the score for Deliana Vodnicharova of Bulgaria. And there have been some very high scores in this next to last rotation. This rotation between with North Korea, East Germany, Bulgaria, and Canada. More to come after this. Tynan's Nissan needs room for new showrooms, so we've knocked the bottom out of Nissan prices. This option-loaded Sentra is yours for a profit-wrecking $49.99. $2,000 rebates on Pathfinders. What a blast! The experts have named this magnificent Maxima America's most trouble-free car. It's yours for $298 a month. $298. Come in and wreck, ruin, and ravage our profits. Tynan's Nissan, 780 South Havana. Our deals will blow you away. You know Mark's Restaurant, but have you been to Mark's lately? For New England clam chowder and sirloin steak salad, or baby back ribs, or chicken marsala, or traditional shrimp tempura, or Mark's special blackened catfish, or a beef and seafood combination like steak and crab legs, or prime rib and lobster. For steaks and prime rib, poultry and pork, pasta and fresh seafood, Mark's, 6920 West 38. Lunch and dinner every day and every night. Well, the North Koreans continue to be a story here. The results after the first rotation, East Germany ahead of North Korea, but North Korea doing very well, Bulgaria and Canada. North Korea has just been amazing in this competition. After the compulsories, they were tied with the East Germans. Doing beautiful work here on the uneven bars. This is really where their best event is. This is Kim ok Gum. Free hit to handstand. Giant full. Tuck double back. Little hop on the landing, but a good opening for the North Koreans here on uneven bars. That's their first routine. And as we mentioned during the men's competition, it's so important to build on that, that first score. Now they can build to nine nines and tens. They had a nine nine two five and a nine eight three seven and a nine seven three seven in the compulsory competition. It's really amazing that since the 87 World Championships, where they were 19th as a team, of course, didn't compete in Seoul because of the boycott. Their government boycotted those games. They have now moved up this much. That's the most incredible jump I've ever seen by any team. Again, look at their straight body work. And the entire team works bars with this tight, straight body, good line, good technique. And that is Kim ok Gum. We still await her score. While you're looking at these kids, there's been a lot of question raised by many of the people here um, about their ages. You're supposed to be 15 or turn 15 this year to be eligible to compete. And you look at these kids' faces, I mean, one of them still just lost their front tooth. Nine, six, eight, seven, just to interrupt for a moment. Not a bad start for them. Not a bad start at all. But as I was saying, many of these people say you're 15 years old, and you look at that face, and I'll leave it up to the audience. Well, of course, Kathy, in the Orient, when you're born, you're already considered one year old, so there's an advantage, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kim Ok Aguang, <laughs> Ok Gum, I get it, has really set the tone with a very fine performance. And now, it is yet another Kim, Kim Yong Wah. 
Giant full twist. Gosh, a beautiful high flyaway half. Now that is definitely getting your difficulty in the routine and with the amplitude they're looking for. Tuck double back. None of them are sticking their landings. That's something they've got to do if they want to move up in this competition. The East Germans took a nine-tenth of a point lead after the first event. And you're not going to catch him back by not sticking your dismount and not doing perfect routines. So that is Kim Young Wa. And the 9687 put up ahead of her, and the best perhaps still to come. She doesn't look too pleased, although it is very hard to really read any expression into the faces of the North Korean team. Very young, very intense. It's very, a lot of pressure in this competition. This is the team round, so you've got five other girls depending on your routine, not just yourself. Again, good giant work, tuck double bat. A little bit better form than the girl preceding her, but still cowboys it a little bit, meaning pulling her legs out to the side. And 9-7 is the score, and there's the smile for Kim myung Wa. So they have already set a pretty good tone. 6-8-7 for Kim ok Gum, 9-7 for Kim myung Wa. And we'll be back with more right after this. John Madden on defense. Hey, there's nothing like a new car. But to fight wear in today's advanced engine, the best offense is a super defense. Superflow motor oil for protection here. Boom, multi-valve engines. Boom, overhead cam and double boom to protect your investment. Superflow Motor Oil, a super defense for today's advanced engines. Go with the flow, go with Superflow. The Nordica 997 Comp. Reach a new high. ESPN gives you a spectacular courtside view of NCAA basketball. Slam jammed with color and excitement. Check out the sparkling sights and sounds of electrifying shootouts all season long. Big play in a T.O., baby. Four to alley -oop. It's awesome. What a job at the way. The excitement begins as tough teams battle at the Dodge NIT starting Wednesday, November 15th at 7.30 Eastern, live on ESPN. Monica Kovacci of Canada set to go in the vault here. Just a round off, layout full twist, a very common vault here at this competition. Just a little problem on the landing, but a good song vault for her. The Canadians have done very well on vault. Uh, they started, they've gotten a 9.75 and a 9.537. And remember, after the first round, they had slipped behind Bulgaria. Wang Bo Sil of North Korea has already performed on the bars, and we'll bring you up to date on how they're doing. And here's another look again. And this was a good vault. I've seen it done better, but here it's a nice, solid vault. This be a good score for the Canadians. So the second ball up coming now of Monica Kovacci. Meanwhile, back on the uneven bars, still awaiting the score of Wang Bo Sil. And while we do, Pak Yong Sil will wait her turn. Pak Yong Sil, a 9737 in this event in the compulsories. So obviously a discussion amongst the judges. Now the score, 9587 for Wang Bo Sil. So they continue to do very well in this particular discipline. 9 7, 9 6, 8 7, 9 5, 8 7. But the North Koreans are really going to make a move in trying to, to win in this round of the competition. It's going to be on this event. They've really got to rack up some points here. So this is Pak Yong Sil. For Kovacci of Canada, 9764. Front giant, excuse me. That's a beautiful front giant and the highest. <gasps> oh, she just did the highest Jaeger I've ever seen a woman do on uneven bars. And then she had a major break. 
had to stop the routine on the low bar. Reverse heck, two major release moves in the same routine. Incredible difficulty. Giant full, tuck double back. Oh, that's too bad, because that's a really good routine. Excellent routine. But of course, the complete break will cost her dearly. Started to say 9762 for Kovacci on vault. Trying to keep up with you on scores as best we can. We realize the action is very frenetic. Look at that Jaeger, so high. Kathy, she got into trouble here on this transition. I, d I don't even know exactly what she was trying to do. It's a very unusual connection move from the high bar to the low bar. Now, of course, the bars are wider than they've ever been. With these girls being so small, these connections are very difficult, aren't they? That's the hardest part of the routine, not the major release moves. It's <laughs> going down to the low bar and back up to the high bar. Tanya Kesta on balance beam from East Germany. This is a good event for them normally, is it not? They're usually pretty solid here. They have a low score of a 9.237 that they're looking to throw out. So they're trying to get higher scores. They have a 9.675 and a 9.662 so far. That can't spring layout step out. Fulfilling one of the requirements on being It's her gymnastics series in her full turn. And that's her gymnastics acrobatics series. Back handspring into a Cisson. All her, all her requirements right here in a row. That's her connection down low to the beam. Pak Jong Sil of North Korea a moment ago on bars nine, five, one, two. Watching Tanya Kesta of East Germany on the balance beam. The East Germans have really slipped in their standings in the last couple of years. Round up double twist. They're usually right up there in the top three. Of course, they won the bronze medal in Seoul. Still plenty more to come from the World Championships here in Stuttgart. We'll have more right after this. We were three days out of Dakar. I'm the Queen Elizabeth II. I was right in the middle of an apricot flambe. Captain, I'm afraid we've just run out of Colombian coffee. Run out, Mr. Harwood? Full about, Mr. Roberts. Engine room, full speed. So, we turned back. Under the circumstances, it was the only civilized thing we could do. 100% Colombian coffee, the richest coffee in the world. It started in Japan in 1907 and became one of the most respected automobile companies in the world, Daihatsu. Introducing Daihatsu for 1990, now arriving at your local Daihatsu dealer. The economical three-door hatchback, the distinctively styled four-door sedan, the exciting Rocky 4x4 soft top, and the dynamic Rocky hard top. Daihatsu, one of the most respected names in Japan for over 80 years, Daihatsu. Kerry Kanuka of Canada now on the uneven bars, and the Canadians have done very well here today. Yes, they're edging closer and closer to North Korea. Here they are. The East Germans continue to lead in this particular rotation ahead of North Korea, with Canada creeping up just ahead of Bulgaria. Real three-way race right now between North Korea, Canada, and Bulgaria. Started out strong. She's done a Jaeger front as her major release move so far. Giant full... Actually, it wasn't a giant full. She twisted halfway in and halfway back the other way and also broke leg form. And a pike front dismount. Take a look at the front Jaeger. Plenty of height on that, so no deduction for the height. She does break form throughout the routine, though. Doesn't have real tight, straight legs. And here is the major deduction. Pike front dismount. Actually, right before that skill, she broke form going over the top in a giant, what should have been a full, but she twisted halfway one direction, halfway the other, so she won't get credit for that. 9-5, the score for Kerry Kanuka of Canada on the uneven bars. The Canadians really help themselves on the vault. Had very, very high scores there. In fact, their lowest score was a 9-5-3-7. Highest was a 9-9-1-2. Monica Kovacci now. A nice high reverse heck to a one and a half twist. Straddle back to handstand. Good work 
minutes so far. Slight form deduction. Little hop on the landing. But about the strongest routine they've had thus far. So Monica Cavaccio hoping to improve on the 9-5 put up by her teammate, Carrie Kanuka, as the Canadians continue to show strongly here. That should help with being their second routine now. They've got four more routines to go to build on her score, which will definitely be higher than the 9-5. Canadians, of course, having to make do with only five competitors, so they do not have the luxury of being able to throw out one of the scores as the East Germans, who you're looking at now, did in the last rotation. Exactly. So only three more to go. That always puts a lot of pressure on all the other competitors. Christian Toms of East Germany now for exercise. East Germany now has a very comfortable lead over North Korea. Double pike, and everybody will tell you key to doing well in a team competition is hitting beam. And that's exactly what these Germans did in the last rotation. Double twist to a back handspring straddle jump. It's actually quite weak in tumbling. This really isn't as strong as a team we're used to seeing from the East Germany. Exactly. They were, again, they won the bronze medal in Seoul. And even prior to that, they've always been in the top three. At all the Olympic Games and World Championships, you can always guarantee that they'll be there. And they're just not as strong as they were in the past. A lot of rest there in that corner. And a tuck double back just now. They're really trying to get away from, from that, standing in the corner, waiting for your tumbling pass, resting. Most of the top gymnasts are not doing that anymore, quite as much as they did, say, a few years ago. But it doesn't cost them anything right now. Uh, yes, it does, when it's that long. Meanwhile, over on the uneven bars, the Canadians continue, and right now it is Lori Strong, 9-6-3-7 for Monica Kovacci a moment ago. Beautiful combination. I'm sorry, that was a front Jaeger. One and a half twist over the low bar. They call that a strong. She was the first to compete at an international competition. She really has some original moves here and very difficult moves as well. I like her aggressive style. She moves very quickly. Giant full. To an open pipe, double distance. Lori Strong. And remember, her teammates have put some very good scores up there. So you have to think that Lori's score will be at least equal to that or better. Lori has done quite well internationally for the Canadians. Look at this combination. It is really beautiful. Good height on this Jaeger somersault. Then she swings through, does a one and a half twist, regrass the low bar into a glide. She didn't seem too happy with that. That floor exercise that we were watching just a moment ago by Christian Toms of East Germany scored out at a 9.625. Meanwhile, back on floor exercise, while we await the score of Lori Strong on the uneven bars, the East Germans this time, and I believe this is Karina Rungi. have a 9.625 to go along with that. They need some higher scores to maintain the lead over North Korea. There also was some discussion, perhaps, that the East Germans were receiving some inflated scores during the compulsories. I think toward the end, um, one thing we haven't mentioned is a, is a new rule in progress. They do not seed the competitors in the compulsory round. In fact, the teams don't even compete together. They take say you take the American team, two of the USA girls go the first day, two go the next day, two go the following day. And many people have commented they don't really like that system, but they were doing it, trying to make it a little bit more fair. Double tuck. And on the line. On the line is okay, as long as you don't go over that line. Karina Rungi of East Germany, a lot of East German fans. 
on hand here for this competition. Incidentally, 9-7-7-5, the score for Laurie Strong on the uneven bars a couple of moments ago. So the Canadians continue to do very well in this discipline, coming off a strong performance in the vault. We're at Hans Martin Schleier Halle in Stuttgart. This is the optional portion of the women's team competition in the World Gymnastics Championships. Shure's new outdoor fresh scent is like a breath of fresh air. Raise your hand. You feel fresh now. Raise your hand. You feel clean now. You feel confident and secure. Now get odor and wetness protection you can count on in a new fresh scent you'll love. Raise your hand. Fresh and new now. Raise your hand. You feel cool now. Try new Shure outdoor fresh scent. As clean and fresh as all outdoors. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. You feel sure. We'll be delivering in 30 minutes or less. Sometimes we even arrive a little early. So tonight, call us, because nobody delivers better than Domino's Pizza. Call Domino's Pizza right now and get two hot pizzas for one hot price. Nobody delivers better, so call now. I had to try this to believe it. Denerex tingles. Tells me it's doing more. Sell some blue, no tingle. Both Denerex and regular Selsun Blue have dandruff medicine, but Denerex adds an extra anti-itch medicine. So long, Selsun Blue. Hello, Denerex. Over 28 million adults get athlete's foot. I'm Jim Bird. I had athlete's foot until I used MP27. It has an ingredient recommended by doctors. Look, MP27 stops the burning, itching of athlete's foot fast. MP27. Nothing's a better cure for athlete's foot. Now, Kim Wang Suk of North Korea. And again, just like on the uneven bars, they were excellent in this event in compulsories. They have remarkable poise and concentration to be such young gymnasts and fairly inexperienced. They really pay close attention to detail. The toe point, the leg trick. Two layout step outs saves that one. placement of the hands, the movement of the arms. It's beautiful. Aerial walkover. I really like their choreography. It's very nice. Most people now, choreography is very weak because they put a lot of emphasis on the difficulty. Nice back hands bring swing down, swing right back up to a handstand. Full pirouette. They really do have everything. They have flexibility, strength, difficult skills, and very artistic as well. It's nice to see near perfection in movement. Double top, beautiful landing. Excellent routine that time by Kim Gwang Suk of North Korea. Is that an angelic face? She's waiting for her score. 9837, the score for Kim Guang Suk. She has to be happy. Very happy. Just in hitting your routine. There's nothing like that feeling. Again, look at this landing. And this really marks the difference between a good gymnast and a great gymnast. One that fights for every single tenth of a point in striving for perfection and sticking landings. Kathy, things are changing as far as scoring is concerned in gymnastics these days, so what are the judges looking for on the balance beam? 
Yeah. Okay, the special requirements for balance beam, you have to have an acrobatic series, which is a tumbling series with one element being a flight movement. Also a gymnastic series, two dance elements in a row. A mixed series combining gymnastics and acrobatics, which is a turn or a leap combined with an acrobatic skill like a back handspring or an aerial. A 360 degree turn on one leg, which is a full turn, a big leap or jump, and an element or connection close down to the beam. If these aren't there, it's a tenth of a point deduction. On balance beam, Wan Bo Sil of North Korea. Wan Bo Sil really excited the audience during the compulsory competition. Had an excellent uneven bar routine and then came back and did a beautiful beam routine as well. That can't spring layout, step out. Her choreography isn't as strong as some of her teammates. That was her gymnastics acrobatics series. She did two split jumps right into an aerial cartwheel, combining dance and acrobatic skills. I can't spring back pike. Slightly missed that front foot, but recovered well. Astrid Heese on floor exercise nine, five, eight, seven. Preparing for a dismount. Round off, double back. Little hop forward. But a strong routine. And again, very hard to read any emotion in the faces of the young North Koreans, and you might say it about the East Germans as well. As Barbell Bielgoss for East Germany and floor exercise. It's amazing to have all the same haircuts. <laughs> Triple twist. Also some problem on the landings, but stayed in bounds. She doesn't quite complete every position, every movement. quarter somersault. You don't see that too often in women's competition. It's very common in men's. The routines aren't as electrifying here as you'll see in the later rounds. They just don't capture the imagination and the attention. Double twist. So Barbell Vilgos has done well enough so that they'll be able to drop at 8-9-3-7. Score on beam, which we were watching by Wang Bo Sil of North Korea, 9-7-2-5, and Barbell sets the plot into the crowd. And back on the balance beam now. Kim Ok Gum. In a very pressured situation. It's always tough to be the first up and the last up. It's tough going up any time, but those two are very critical positions. The first one, of course, sets the pace and that base score that the others build on. But this is your cleanup battle. Two back handsprings to a back pipe. Barbell Vilgos. 9725 in floor exercise a moment ago. Good scores for the East Germans, and we've just seen a fall here for the North Koreans. They could very well increase their lead. It sounds like I keep harping on it, but it does seem interesting for all of us to note that this young girl is four feet eight inches tall and 68 pounds. Television seems to be a little deceiving. Oh, 
She broke on a back walkover. Another very simple move. I think this is a sign of inexperienced gymnasts. They're very young. They didn't compete in Seoul. Their last competition, and only for some of them, was at the World Championships. So it's a lot of pressure, and they're not holding back. They're doing all the tricks, if not more, than anybody else in the competition. Okay, some nerves, perhaps? Nerves. <laughs> like I said, they're, they're doing a lot in the routines. They're, they're got as much difficulty as the top level gymnasts in these competitions. You're right, Kathy. Typically, the inexperienced gymnasts water back and they don't uh, do the most difficult exercises. These girls are just blasting through world-class routines. And they really were an unknown quantity coming here to Stuttgart. Which is, kind of puts them in a perfect position. They have nothing to lose. So I think they just went out and went for it, and it's done them well. So a little problem there for Kim Ok Gum. And we move now to the fourth and final rotation in this rotation prior to the top four teams. The top four teams, of course, the Soviet Union, Romania, China, and the United States. Lots more to come from Stuttgart after this. Olga Corbett, triple gold medalist, 1972 Olympics. Mary Lou Retton, Olympic champion, 1984. Now the two most famous gymnasts of all time join the top men and women from the United States and Soviet Union for the spectacular Gymnastics 89 Tour of Champions. The magic of Olga and Mary Lou together for the first time in a dazzling display by the world's best gymnast direct from the 1989 World Championships. It's the Gymnastics Event of the Year. Live and in person at McNichols Arena, November 10th. Brought to you by Channel 4. You know, I bought my Toyota Camry because three separate mechanics, Fred, Jeff, and Kevin, told me the Camry was a really reliable car. Now he waves when he goes by the shop, but he doesn't stop. Can't believe you told him to buy such a reliable car. They were right. My Camry's been really dependable. I didn't tell him to buy one. I said they were reliable. You did too. <laughs> He'll never see me again. <laughs> no use crying over spilled milk. I love what you do for me. A quarter million dollars is on the line in a tune-up for the season finale of women's tennis. See the final of the Virginia Slims of Chicago, Sunday afternoon at 2.30 Eastern, live on ESPN. Janka Dobner of East Germany prepares for her second vault now, a score of 9.537 on her first vault. East Germany continues to be in first place in this in this rotation, and she missed that pretty badly. Yeah, not a good ball at all. Story in this rotation is Canada, who has now moved ahead of this team, North Korea, with Bulgaria in fourth place. Again, we are speaking of this rotation. Still to come, the Soviet Union, Romania, China, and the United States. On floor exercise now, from North Korea, Kim myong Hwa. She opens with a full-tracing double back. Little stumble on the landing. Interesting dive roll. It's a nice combination. Aerial walkover. They have very beautiful arm and hand movements. Double twist punch front. Tumbles back the other way. Round off stretch dump down to her knees. North Koreans have an 8.987 that they're trying to draw, so they really want to hit the rest of the routines here. So far, she's doing quite well. Double tuck. Good landing. Nice routine. Kathy, let's talk about the scoring criteria now in floor exercise. Okay, the special requirements for floor exercise. Must do a gymnastics series with three elements, three leaps or three jumps. A gymnastics B, which is a dance element of mid-range difficulty. Three different tumbling series, and one of the series must have two saltos in that series or a D-level salto. A gymnastic acrobatic series connecting dance and gymnastics again. And a B dismount, of course, we'll be seeing these in these routines. An absence of these special requirements is, again, a tenth of a point deduction. 
floor exercise. Kim Plunk. Back out. Kim Kwang Suk, 4'4", 61 pounds, 15 years old from North Korea. She actually, in the compulsories, was called back for a curtain call by the audience here at the Hans Martin Schleyer Halle. How often do you see that? Beautiful middle tumbling pass. Just did an alternate through to a double back and then right back with a double twist. And in fact, just to add to that story for just a moment, she didn't really know what a curtain call was. And so the way she took it was her coach picked her up and put her up on the pedestal and said, okay, this is what a curtain call is. And the crowd responded. I worry about that now, though, sometimes. They have a rule that says you can't do that anymore. Uh, ever since the 84 Olympic Games, they changed that rule, and you're not really supposed to go back up on the podium. Double tuck dismount. Very good routine for her. Meanwhile, on bars, we... But Nicharova... How am I doing with that name? Second time I've had to do it tonight. <laughs> Maybe if we have one more shot at it. Okay. Beautiful free <laughs> hit reverse it backwards hat. next time. Very difficult move, and you don't see many of them. Tracy Talavera did it in the Olympics in 84. But most people do the reverse heck out of a giant. Wow! <laughs> Full twist and double back dismount. That's tough <laughs> for a taller gymnast. We've seen some of the little short guys do it, but... And the score for Kim Gong Suk, 9-8 on floor exercise. She doesn't look very happy about that. She's saying, I could have done that a little better. I think she heard you. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, it is Cho Gyeong Wee. They really are pretty gymnasts to watch. The hands, the arms, good form. Another full twisting double back in pike position. Their technique is so excellent because they don't look like the powerhouses to be able to do the kind of tumbling that they're doing, but they have excellent technique, so they do get the power necessary. That's a good point, Bart. Double twist to a punch front, tumbles back to a full twisting back handspring. She has the best expression of all. Look at that. Completes every movement to the fullest. One can only wonder what kind of impact these girls would have had in the Olympics last year in Seoul had the North Koreans shown up there because, boy, they are impressive. Oh, this is a beautiful music change. There's very few gymnasts that can work to this type of music and pull it off. Tuck double back. Didn't have much lift on that, but boy, she pulled it around. Excellent. Beautiful team. Cho Wee to the applause of her teammates and a capacity audience here at the Hans Martin Schleyer Halle. That's about the biggest response of the night for any single event so far. Still plenty more to come from the World Championships here in Stuttgart. We'll have more right after this. The Murine Earwax Removal System has drops that safely loosen hardened wax when used as directed, plus an ear washer to gently flush wax away. Murine, the complete medically approved system to safely remove earwax. If you don't try the Apple Macintosh at MicroAge, you'll never know. See the versatile, powerful Apple Macintosh computer. MicroAge, your Apple authorized dealer. Right now, you can get two hot pizzas for one hot price. Just call Domino's Pizza, and we'll be there in 30 minutes or less with two hot pizzas for one hot price. Nobody delivers better. So call now. The best way to get out of a sand trap is to plant your feet firmly, bend your knees, and follow through.
Stuttgarters are proud of their own surroundings, and here at places like the Schlossgarten, you're just as likely to run into a local as you would be a tourist here for the gymnastics championships. Barry Tompkins with Kathy Johnson and Bart Connor. We start the final rotation, the final four teams. And you are looking at Sandy Woolsey. Remember the Americans doing very well after the compulsory stage in fourth place behind the Chinese, the Romanians, and the Soviets. All the teams are off to a good start in the first rotation. Identical scores for Salvinica by uh, the Soviet Union on her second ball. So you said it. Same ball, figuratively and literally. Desert Devils and a triple twist, beautifully done. And she really made that around, Kathy. It's very difficult to pull all three twists. It's also difficult to keep form in a triple twist, and she really did a good job of that. She did particularly well in the compulsory competition. Best compulsory round I've ever seen her have. Nice middle tumbling run. This is the best I've ever seen Sandy look in any competition. I'd like to see a little bit more extension in the movements. The position's really marking them. run. Double twist punch front. Good finish. Good routine for the Americans. Been a good discipline for the Americans so far. Sandy Woolsey, obviously she likes it. And we'll see how the judges liked it. This first tumbling run was re really the highlight of her routine. She does a whip back right here through to a triple twist. But boy, she gets it around all the way. Many people have trouble getting that last little eighth of a turn in. This is her last pass. And of course, we talked about the bonus points. That's really what these top gymnasts are striving to get the bonus so they can score higher than the 9.6. And this is one of the skills that helps her do that. Double twist, punch front. She gets a bonus point for the originality of that connection and for it being at the end of her routine. Now she'll have to wait for her score. Ahead of her, Kim Kelly started it off with a 9.687. Good score for the first competitor. Then a 9.75 for Christy Henrik. And now it is Sandy Woolsey who awaits the judge's verdict. 9.825. Excellent. That is going to help the American cause considerably. They've got three more gymnasts to go. And building on a 9.825. That was excellent for Sandy Woolsey. She had a 9.662 in that same event, the compulsory, so she is improving with every out. Up now for the United States, Wendy Bruce on floor exercise. Wendy has really come on strong since winning the international mixed pairs back in March. She won that with her partner, and I think it gave her a real boost of confidence. Full twisting double back, perfect landing. Nice amplitude on the leaves. Both she and Brandy Johnson have very similar floor routines, the type of music they've chosen. Of course, they're both training with Kevin Brown down in... Altamont Springs, Florida. And Kevin really works on power tumbling as well, Kathy. And it definitely shows off in these passes. Whip over through to double tuck, and she just stays in bounds. Saving that tenth of a point deduction. In a way, for the U.S. team, this is the perfect event to start on because with all that nervous energy, they can use it up in the floor exercise. Exactly right. And a double twist. 
not as difficult a last pass as say the Soviets and Romanians are going to do, but she had good difficulty in the early part of the routine, and the whole routine was clean. Romanians good doing, doing very well, as a matter of fact, on the uneven bars. A moment ago, a score of 9-9-2-5 for the Romanians. And right now, it is Eugenia Popa. It was a nice ginger at the beginning of the routine, and she just did a reverse heck. A lot of release moves, a lot of difficulty in this routine. Half in, half out. That's a full twisting double back dismount, and it was done beautifully. Their scores have been simply brilliant so far. 9-9, 9-9, 9 9 9 9 9 9 2 5 9 8 8 7 by Aurelia Dobre, the lowest of the Romanians. So while the Americans are doing wonderfully well in floor exercise, everybody else is really posting some big numbers early in this rotation. Good job, they certainly are. Wendy Bruce, 9.862, another excellent score for the Americans on floor exercise, but as good as they're going, they're in there right now with the very best in the world. We have had a 10 on vault by Alicia Dudnik of the Soviet Union, and there is just action going on all over Hans Martin Schleier Halle, and we'll be back with a lot more of that action after this. This message was brought to you by members only. Looks like Daddy's bringing home the barbecue. A big sack of McDonald's McRib sandwiches. Grilled pork and that sassy sauce. Tempting, huh? Like a barbecue in a barn without the bones. And with a big icy Coke, it's, well, you're only human, huh, Daddy? Chomp. The good time, great taste. <laughs> of McDonald's. McRib for limited time, only at McDonald's. When you're a company that makes building products, you get real familiar with trees. Georgia Pacific has known these trees for over 50 years. We planted most of them. You know them as our double-sanded southern gold plywood or our designer paneling. But GP also has products like shingles, nails, gypsum, which don't come from trees at all. So whether the building supplies you need grow on trees or not, Ask for GP. That's all you need to know. We have had some unbelievable scores. We'll try to keep you up to date. Shen Ki Ting right now on beam for China. And she's got some catching up to do too. 99755, rather put up by Yang Bo a moment ago. Silivash on uneven bars just a second ago, waiting for her score. Another brilliant performance. We have seen some outrageous scores already in Rotation 1 and great routines. It's important to keep in mind that there are four events going on, the four best teams in the world, all performing brilliantly all at once. It's crazy. It really is. And you just can't keep up with the high scores. The Chinese are just excellent on this beam. Compulsory was beautiful. Better than anyone else in the competition. Layout chest roll down. Tiny little wobble there. Preparing for the dismount. Round off, double tuck. Just a slight hop on the landing, a little bobble on the full turn. Other than that, it was very nice. We will have her score in just a moment. We wait for Silivash. There has just been another 10 on the ball by La Shenova. And Truly this is remarkable. Brandy Johnson, her middle tumbling run. She nailed her full in at the opening cast. Just did whip over through the double tuck. It's a really good music selection for her. The audience gets into it. They get behind her in this routine. Last tumbling run. Double tuck. Oh. The first break for the Americans. It'll be five tenths of a point, deduction for the fall, and a tenth going out of bounds. Oh, what a shame. The rest of the routine was just solid as could be. 
Very tough break for the Americans, but I'll tell you, Silibosh, a 10 on uneven bar. How many is that, Bart? Four, five? I think it's four to this point. There's been a lot of talk about bringing the level of the scores down, but scores are booming through the roof here. The problem is the gymnasts move faster than the rule changes do. And that's Brandy on her last tumbling pass. She over-rotates the double back, falls out of bounds at six-tenths of a point off. And on the vault, Buginskaya of the Soviet Union, second vault, her first a 9-9. By the standards that they've been going, that's not so good. Round up, full twisting layout. Oh, beautiful. Yuchenko full. And keep in mind, some of her teammates did double twisting Yuchenkos, which is a more difficult vault, but she did this so clean, there are hardly any deductions. There. And of course, Boganskaya is the Olympic champion last year on this event. Randy Johnson, 9-4-5-0 on floor exercise, that despite the fall. Look at the clean execution of this vault. That is the way the Soviets do everything. So clean, no deductions, perfect form. It's interesting to note when she sticks, watch her feet, one foot just slightly in front of the other as she's trying to plant that landing. It's a Boganskaya technique. This was the first 10 of the night. This by Alicia Dudnik of the Soviet Union. That came in the ball and it started a row of 10s by the Soviet athletes, by the Romanians, some very fine scores on the ball. Here is yet another one. This, this is Lashenova. All together now, and look at this ball. Oh, full twisting Yurchenko. She lays it out at the end, arms go out to the side. Great style. They said it was team competition, didn't we? <laughs> Lashenova with the 10. So there were two 10s in the vault by the Soviet Union. Here's a look again. You can't do this vault any better. And this is what I like. She does the pull, then opens the arms out for the stylization and nails the landing. Well, that started it. So two tenths. And then it was Silivash, the Olympic champion on the uneven bar. Beautiful stalder work, and you rarely see that anymore. Right to a front stalder. Delchev. Stalder again to a full pirouette. She has a nice variety of moves here. Release moves, in bar work with the stalders and free hip dismount. And a beautifully stuck landing. Some extremely high scores from three leading teams, the Soviet Union, the Romanians, and China. Soviet Union, 49.749. They are still in first place as we take another look at the dismount of Sulivash. Romanians scored 49.637, the Chinese 49.674. By comparison, the United States, 49.011. Still plenty more to come from the World Championships here in Stuttgart. We'll have more right after this. Right now, you can get two hot pizzas for one hot price. Just call Domino's Pizza, and we'll be there in 30 minutes or less with two hot pizzas for one hot price. Nobody delivers better. So call now. When they first asked if I wanted to be a part of Best Western, I said, what a country. I always wanted to do a cowboy movie. Then they said, no, it's a commercial for thousands of different Best Western hotels, motor inns, and resorts. I said, no problem, as long as you still film me like a real American cowboy. Anybody has a quarter? Whoa, we be a get along, little puppy. Hey, what's with the two bottles? You gonna wash your hair twice? Oh, funny. It's shampoo and conditioner. Maybe you've heard of them. I use them, but I get them both in one bottle with Per Plus. Great, but I gotta use dandruff shampoo. Me too. And now there's a new Per Plus for dandruff. Let me see that. Dandruff shampoo plus conditioner in one. Hmm. Hey, my hair's clean, easy to manage, no flakes. Oh, beautiful. So let's go. 
New dandruff control per plus. Great hair, no flakes, no fuss. The Nordica 997 Comp. Doctor said no surgery for my hemorrhoids. That's great. Yeah, they're not that serious. He said use preparation H. You can often relieve pain and itch for hours and help shrink swelling of inflamed hemorrhoidal tissues with preparation H. Ointment or suppositories. And for the United States, Kim Kelly, a 9712 on her first vault. This is her second vault. So the Americans doing just fine. Does he Yachinko? Full twist. Pop on the landing a little bit off center. The Americans did well just to get into the top four and wind up with the best in the world here on the last rotation. It's a dream come true for the Americans to be in this final rotation. Alicia Dudnik now coming off a 10 on the vault. How about that mount? That's a tough mount. First time that was done was Michelle Goodwin of the United States. Back at the World Championships. Beautiful. Oh, caught her foot on the ground there. Lost her rhythm. That's a pretty substantial deduction there. Her release moves aren't as high either. 9737 seven, seven for Kim Kelly on her second ball, improving slightly. And a double tuck dismount. What a shame, coming off a 10 over on the vaulting. She actually had trouble on this event in the compulsories. Yeah, she had a 9-3 in the compulsories. Exactly, and after the third event, compulsory, she was in a position to take the lead, be the top Soviet, the top gymnast in the compulsories, and she had that mistake on bars. Christy Henrik in the vault. Nice vault, tiny bit off center and a little hop on the landing. I think she can better that vault. I'll tell you what's frustrating about this competition is the U.S. girls look great. Nine sevens, nine seven fives, they're performing very well, and they're not gaining any ground on anybody. If anything, they're losing ground. The problem is they're looking great, but it's a relative term when you're dealing with the best in the world. In fact, they came in about two points behind the Chinese after the Chinese performed on the beam, and the U.S. on the floor, they dropped to 2.4 behind the Chinese. Really trying to stick this ball. Christy always has good form on all the events. She has beautiful toe point. 9737 was her first fault. Her teammates call her ET for <laughs> extra tough. <laughs> She's a real fighter. She's had a good year. Came on very strong. This is the best shape I've seen her in. And she's been consistently getting better all year. Chinese struggling right at the moment in floor exercise. 9037 by Wang Rongjing. Layout full twist. A little bit better than the other one, I think. I think her coach, Al Fong, will be very happy with that. Good position in the air. A little low on the landing. She had to hop forward slightly. 9-8-6-2 was the score for Dudnik on the uneven bars. Just another look at the ball. Trying to keep you up to the moment on everything. This is Lashenova coming off a 10 on the vault a moment ago. Natalia Lashenova of the Soviet Union. Score on Henrik's second vault, 9.75. Does improve slightly from the first. Oh, beautiful high reverse hex. Oh, look at that, way up above the bar. This is what you're looking for in bars. Stalled her work as well. Again, a good combination of skills. Many of the girls have what we call stock routines, all the same, and this isn't. Very different from the others and done exceptionally well. We're looking at gymnastics that I have to say, from my limited experience, is as good as it gets. This is pretty darn close. 
Lashenova, remember, had a 10 in the vault. And we will see how she does on the uneven bar. She's not going to do a whole lot worse than that. Meanwhile, on the balance beam, Aurelia Dobre has had a 9.95 for Romania. That's an amazing mount. Round off back handspring onto the beam. Back handspring, two layouts following. That's a long pass. This is Christina Bontas of Romania. And this, again, coming on the heels of a 9.95 by Dobre. Fulfilling all her requirements. She just did her gymnastics acrobatics series, combining gymnastics and acrobatics. Back handspring, layout, step out, back pipe. She's done two very difficult passes on the balance beam already. Very risky. Now, these are the kind of routines that do earn their bonus, but there are several just medium range routines that if they're if they're smart they can design the routine and still get their bonus but they don't compare to these routines that's the problem in our judging system maybe they'll have to come up with extra bonus so far a 9837 and 9862 and that 995 by Arubia Dobre for Romania and Lashenova on the uneven bars when we saw a moment ago, 9.95. And dismounts with a run up at handspring, double top dismount. She liked it. Christina Bontas. Romanians doing considerably better in the optionals here than they did in compulsories. Meanwhile, we'll take it back to the uneven bars. That's pretty par for the course. The Soviets have always been probably the strongest in the compulsories. The Romanians always come on strong in the optionals. Svetlana Boganskaya of the Soviet Union now. Giant full turn over the top to reverse heck. Good height. It's amazing she works barehanded. No grips. That's unusual to see at this level. That's pretty. Split right into the toe on handstand. And a tuck of the fly away. She doesn't do the most difficult routine. And in many cases, on all the events, that's, that's just like her, not to do the most difficult routines, but so perfect. Meanwhile, over here on, at the head of the vault runway, Wendy Bruce, the United States, who had a very good 9875 on her first vault. She awaits the second. On the balance beam, incidentally, Bontas is finished and had a 9937 and the Romanians two best are still to come Silivash and Podorak plus this is a good opportunity for the American women with their strong vaulting scores Wendy is terrific and Brandy Johnson coming up next is also fantastic they can gain some ground on the Chinese that are having trouble on floor oh good vault as good as she can do it beautiful position in the air nice clean twist and of course, that landing that the judges are looking for. Boganskaya, a 10 on the uneven bars that you saw just a moment ago. Will we see another one right here in the vault? Oh, it's hard to say. She had good form throughout the whole vault. Perfect landing. Case of nerves for Wendy Bruce right now as we await her score. 9875 is the score for Wendy Bruce. See, this is where it really helps out. The Soviets and Romanians, usually their first girl up gets a 9-9. Nine, nine. A 9-8-5, nine, 9-9, nine, nine, they can build to the 10s. When you start with 9-6s and 9-7s, it's very difficult to build up to those high scores. And here is Brandy Johnson, and a fine 9-8-7-5 by Wendy Bruce in her face. Brandy's doing the same vault. And Chinko with a full twist. Now, on her first event, she had that fall on floor exercise, so you know she's trying to get back on track. Okay, the ball was good in the air, but the problem was with the landing. She over-rotated it. Brandy is so powerful, and that's the reason she got into the finals in Seoul in vaulting, because she shows that terrific power. She overpowered it on floor exercise. Her only other opportunity, really, I think, here to make it into the finals at these world championships is sticking a vault here in the preliminaries. And that's going to be crucial. Trying to keep what? an eye while you watch the vault of Brandy Johnson in replay. We're trying to keep an eye on the balance beam where Daniela Silivash 
who had a 10 in her first discipline, just had a brilliant performance on balance beam, and we await her score right now. This is the event that I've always thought Brandy could not only make finals, but she could really medal in this event because she has two strong balls. Many gymnasts only have one strong ball. And they're from two different families, and she does them as well as anybody in the world. But she's got to stick this ball here to try and get into finals. Yeah, this is the one because she over-rotated the first one. She had a good compulsory score, but she'll need to nail this one if she even hopes to make it into the finals. And remember, in the finals, everybody starts from zero. So Brandy has as good a shot as anyone at winning a medal for the Americans if she can get into the finals with this vault here. It's going to take a stick, the most perfect vault she has. Again, performing a Yurchenko with a full twist. Doing her second vault. Handspring, front pipe with a half twist to Brandy out. Not nearly as well as Brandy can do this vault. I've seen her do that vault unbelievably well. Still plenty more to come from the World Championships here in Stuttgart. We'll have more right after this. some tough choices in Jefferson County because the voters rejected the bond issue. The school board says it's going to have to cut a lot of people and programs. We'll have more on the fur fight tonight. A recent study asked people what they would least like to receive for Christmas, and fur was second on the list behind fruitcake. Every single sequence had been taken off the dress. So what happens if you've been taken to the cleaners by the cleaners? We've lost our heads at the all-new Grand Pontiac. We're selling 89 and 90 Pontiacs at Invoice. In fact, we make it easier than ever to own a new Pontiac. Grand Ams, Grand Prix, Bonneville, Sunbirds, Firebirds, you name it. We're dealing on everything. $1,000 factory rebates, special GMAC financing, the best trade allowances anywhere, and an all-new service department. Used cars, 89s or 90s, we don't care. For the grandest deals on used cars and new Pontiacs at Invoice, take the short drive to Grand Pontiac, 2000 West 104th Thornton. A spectacle. The sound. The fall colors are spectacular on ESPN's college football. Ohio State storms Iowa. Arkansas faces Baylor. And Alabama battles LSU on College Football Saturday. Live on ESPN. Soviet Union continues to lead and lead Romania. And they are emerging clearly as the two dominant teams here with China and the United States right now remaining in fourth place and having a very good competition. In fact, they're, they're closing on the Chinese. They have closed that leading. Yeah, the Chinese were leading by 2.664 coming in after the second rotation. It's only 1.713 for the Americans picked up about nine tenths of a point. The American vaulting against the Chinese floor. The Soviets are on a good event for them. The balance beam, that can spring to two layouts. And Strajeva has already set the tone. You were talking about setting the tone with the first competitor, 995, for her. And this is Baitova. Nice work. Back row extension. Back hand spring. Acrobatic series. Kind of a weak one in a way, wasn't it, Kathy? Yeah, I've seen a lot better. A, a simple leap. Most of the girls are using more difficult combination. Triple twist dismount. Landed a little funny in a deep pipe. That will be a deduction. It'll be interesting to see what she scores on that because that was a significant deduction. Whether the judges take it or not will be remain to be seen. That's true, and the judges have seen some tremendous balance beam routines to compare it to. Well, there's a lot of talk in Soul Kathy about the fact that the judging was too easy, the gymnasts were better than the current scoring system. 
Then all of this talk about the revised system, and yet the first girl up for the Soviets gets a 995. Did they really revise the system, or are the judges just not paying attention to it? They did revise the system, but in my opinion, it's too easy to get the bonus. And it, in that way, we cannot separate the very good from the great. A 9925 for Baitova. Boy, that is a low score. <laughs> yes. They'll probably end up throwing that one out. Ma Ying, incidentally, of China, first to vault a 9812. Front tuck up to the balance beam. Used to be a very common mount. Now you don't see it that much anymore. This is Lashinova of the Soviet Union, and she has had an excellent competition so Watch far. Watch this powerful run right here. Back handspring to layout, oh. landing two feet together. That is a gorgeous move. Some people do something that they call a layout, but that was a true layout. And that's an interesting scale. It's Red Lee, Chrissy Song. This is her gymnastics series. And what's Lashenova done today? Nothing more than a 10 on vault and a 9.95 on bars. Gymnastics acrobatic series, a little more original. Forward roll, just jump. Another layout, step out. She maintains good leg form on those layout step outs, which is important. Many people lose that form. Two back handsprings to a full end. Full twisting, double back dismount. I can't tell you how difficult that is off the balance beam. It's hard on the floor. So Lashetova just having what could be considered the meat of her life with a 10 and a 9.95 so far, and will certainly score very highly on the beam. How she can walk off so casually after doing a full end off the balance beam, I'll never know. Look at this, perfectly straight on these back handsprings. Enough power to pull that around. And of course a step. But the judges will keep in mind how difficult that dismount was when they take the deduction for the landing. Very difficult and very well done. Natalia Lashenova, and no score yet for her. And there's Nelly Kim once again. Been around this track a little bit. She was many people's favorite gymnast. Nine, nine, six, two. So obviously they took a little bit off for that little step she took. And now on the balance beam, maybe their best, although I'll tell you, it's very hard <laughs> to pick any one of them out as the best Soviet. One-arm handstand, open very strong. Nice original little move. It's like a healing twirl in a while. that the exactly. guys use on parallel bars. Actually, Steffi Craker did that a long time ago. It wasn't really that long exciting. ago. It was when I was competing, so it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's really exciting to see Strazova in this competition. Many of you will remember in Seoul, she hurt her knee on the balance beam while she was competing and had to be carried off the floor. She's back, and she looks terrific. But you can see there's a flesh tone knee brace on her left knee there. Lay out, step out to a back handspring. Nice split loop showing the full flexibility. Dismount, double tuck. Ooh, a step on the landing. With that and a slight bobble after a full turn, a little unsureness throughout the routine. Still going to score well, though. So far for the Soviets, 9962 by Lashenova, 9925 by Baitova. Strajeva now waits for her score. Of course, she was a member of the gold medal winning team in Seoul. Nice mount. There was that first little bobble. Back handspring, layout step out. Back handspring, perfectly straight with the balance beam.
And for the United States, Sandy Woolsey. Woolsey waiting her turn on the bars. This Wendy is Sandy's best event. Wendy Bruce has just scored 9 7 6 2 ahead of her. Stradjeva, 9 9 2 5. Nice reverse hecked. Straddle back to a handstand. Good positions there. Giant fall. Lost a little form there. And saw her toe point. Legs slightly come apart across. But other than that, the rest of the routine was very nice. Sandy Woolsey. Well, the Soviet Union continues to dominate here in Stuttgart. A lot more to come. And we'll be back right after this. from the most expensive ingredients. One dry refreshes completely. One taste, and you'll know why. The one dry is Michelob dry. It can stop the hottest action. The Minolta Maxim 3000i. Ultra wide angles. Over 30 autofocus lenses. Extreme telephoto zooms. It captures what no snapshot camera can, even in difficult lighting. Autofocus SLR that's this easy. The incomparable Maxim 3000i. Only from the mind of Minolta. I'm Gilad. And I'm Ada, his little sister. Be sure to watch Bodies in Motion. Basic training. Okay. Watch Bodies in Motion and Basic Training for a full hour of fitness starting at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Right, right here on, on ESPN. ESPN. Well, Stuttgart is the state capital of Baden-Württemberg, and it's the home to over 600,000 West Germans, a city that is rich in tradition and very proud of its heritage. It is a future-oriented city, to be sure. Now in Florex. Here's Christina Pontas of Romania. Open with a double layout. Good position in the air, nice and strong. Woolsey 9-9 on the uneven bars. Very good score. Twisting double back, back handspring, straddle jump. Right through to a double back. Incredible tumbling pass. Two tumbling passes. All of those were difficult moves combined together to form one tumbling pass. Gymnastics has come a long way in the last few years. Dismount, a whip back through to a tough double back. What a tumble. Beautiful. Christina Bontas of Romania. Having a terrific day, by the way, at 9-9 on the uneven bars, at 9-9-3-7 on beam. She's going to score well there. Tremendous. Uh, one can sit in awe of those tumbling passes, all in the same routine, and easily done. Front tuck onto the beam. Sasha Nenkaba on beam, 9925 for the Soviets, and Henrik of the United States, 9937 on bars. The Americans are getting a couple of very good performances on the uneven bars. Henrik and Wulsi. Bulgenskaya now on beam. She was fifth on this event at the Olympic Games. Not a bad evening for her either, 995 in vault. Perfect 10 on the uneven bars. She is a good all around gymnast. No weaknesses really in any event. But then most of the Soviets are like that. <laughs> 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 
Nine, nine, eight, seven for Bontas and Florex, and the crowd thought she was probably worth a 10. Boganskaya has such terrific long lines. She's actually 5'3 in three, three quarters, which in this competition, she's a giant compared to many of the other gymnasts. Oh! Two back hands leads to a layout, step out, and a fall. Randy Johnson also just had a fall on uneven bars. And we will have a chance to look at that in a moment. Major happenings here in this rotation. Major happenings in this building. Double back this now. That's a shame. She had a great competition going. Of course, in terms of the Soviet team, it's not as bad. They can drop that score. Here's a look at Brandy Johnson. She did have a fall. She's having a tough meet here, at least in this portion of it. And you've got to wonder what's happening with Brandy, whether it's the virus that really had an effect on her training. She had a terrific year. Maybe it was just too much packed into one year. She's been up since the Olympic Games in Seoul. This has always been a Take very a difficult combination here. <sighs> Looked like she was right there, Kathy. Exactly. She was trying to catch that, though, in a crossed grip. And she didn't have a good grasp of the bar. It's very disappointing. Like I said, she's had a tremendous year. She's done so much for USA Gymnastics. In international meet, she won five gold medals in the meet in East Germany. Guggenskaya on the beam, 9-4-7-5. And that is the lowest score that they have had on beam. So they likely will not even use it. It will depend on Alicia Dudnik. And Dudnik is on the bar now while we look at Brandy Johnson. Brandy trying to gather her thoughts right now. Meanwhile, on floor exercise, Daniela Silibash of Romania. Very exciting to miss. I, I enjoyed very much watching her at the Olympic Games. She was second in the all around there. She won the gold on floor exercise. As well as the gold on the uneven bars, the balance beam. She did a great job over there. Very nice gymnast. And had a very good floor exercise here. She's having a very good competition here, as a matter of fact. Silavash, who did everything at the Olympic Games and has not really missed a beat here as this, of course, the first major competition following the Olympic Games. She's already had a 10 on the bars and a 9-9 on beam. Take a look, their tumbling run, whip back. Two back hand springs to a full end. <laughs> Difficult pass. Many of the students are just doing the full end, but to tumble through to a full end. Ten was her score. I guess that's about as good as you can get. Well, this was a very significant rotation in terms of the all-around competition as well, because Boganskaya, who is the current European champion and favorite here, fell off the beam, while Silivash, who was due a world championship title in the all-around, knocking out two tens and a nine-nine. Brandy Johnson, incidentally, 9-3-6-2 with that fall on the uneven bars. Well, the story continues to be the dominance of the Soviet Union, but plenty of other competitions still to come. From here at the Hans Martin Schleier Halle, back with more after this. People always ask me, yo, 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 Sinbad, why is McDonald's McRib sandwich only for a limited time? Because I, Chef Sinbad, said Mickey D's can have my secret for smothering tender, boneless pork in a delicious barbecue sauce forever. <laughs> so I lied. They asked how long they can use my recipe. I said, let's flip. Let me a dime. They thought I said limited time. <laughs> okay. Nothing this good lasts forever. <laughs> McRib at participating McDonald's. I'll say things are okay. We've been using these computers for a few years now. But things could be better. Apple Computer. If you don't try the Apple Macintosh at MicroAge, you'll never know. See the versatile, powerful Apple Macintosh computer. MicroAge, your Apple authorized dealer. 
Sports Center 1130 Eastern Time tonight. Pete Rose breaks his silence and admits he has a gambling problem. The San Francisco Giants could be packing to leave that fair city and Orlando break up the magic. Bob Lee, Dan Patrick, 1130. We'll see you then. Svetlana Baitova, the Soviet Union in floor exercise. Soviets are always great on this event. They're so expressive, and I love the way they interpret the music. Fulter seemed double back. They really have a feel for the music. Very dramatic. To step out, we do a double full. It's a pretty pass. She finishes with a tuck double bat. A little awkward on the landing. Pretty routine. Katrina Baitova, the Soviet Union. And again, this is their start-off batter. Very capable of starting with a high score and, of course, building to none other than the 10. I was kidding earlier that that's what Angela Lansbury looked like when she was Baitova's <laughs> age. What do you think? <laughs> This is a nice pass. Full and a half to a step out. If you do a double twist, it's not the most difficult pass, but it's a nice combination. And nine, eight, three, seven for Baitova. So as you said, the leadoff hitter doing the job for the Soviet Union. <laughs> Meanwhile, Li Yan of China on bars. Interesting to note, the Chinese actually beat Romania on the balance beam. Nice work here. Good full caress, right into a reverse hack. Again, those are ways to get the bonus points, combining the difficult skills, one right after the other. Nice giant. Tuck double flyway. Hop back. That will be the deduction in that machine. The Yan of China. The Chinese always look so pretty on the uneven bars because of their body line. It's so straight. Straight handstands. Good alignment. So two giant full turns right into a reverse head. Combination of good difficulty. The end score, not yet announced. Meanwhile, the Romanians, who have done a brilliant job, you're looking at Eugenia Papa, waiting for her second ball. 9-8-5 on her first ball. Now keep in mind, at the same time, the Americans are over on the balance. This is Lacromora Philippe, and not Popa. And she missed that ball, the handspring front. Fairly easy ball for the Romanians. I'm surprised. That's right, Kathy. Most of the Romanians are using the laid out Yurchenko full. Leon, incidentally, who you saw on bars a minute ago, 9875. You're right, Bart. She does the handspring front tuck, which has now been upgraded so that it's worth a 9.9. .9. But still, it's not as difficult as, as the other balls are doing at that level. So she will have another 9225 for uh, Lacromira, Lacromia, Philippe. <laughs> Kim Kelly had a problem on beam, and here is what happened to her. Layout, layout, pass. It was completely off. She didn't even get her second foot off. 
really too bad. She's cutting. Philippe, second vault. Handspring front with a half, a much better vault and a more difficult vault. That was a handspring front tuck with a half twist, so it's worth a 10.0 and will be judged from there. Alicia Dudnik, who despite three tens in the competition, one in the compulsories, and two in the optionals, still may not make the best three of the Soviets. That's how well they've been going in this competition. She just opened with a piked, full twisting double back. And it does remind me of Olga Corbett back in 1972. She ended up winning two events there, but didn't make the all-around finals, but became famous nonetheless. She had a 10 in this discipline in the compulsory. It's a nice pass. Two and a half twist, punch front. They all have that sense of ballet, too, don't they? Very much so. This is why Soviets have always been my favorite team, or at least one of my favorites. Next to the Americans again. Of course. She really is a treat to watch. The presentation is so dramatic and so elegant. What's good about this team is they leave no stones unturned. They work on everything. Good body movement. They get their entire body into the floor routine, into the music. They're very expressive. Tuck double back. Very dramatic routine. Beautiful. Just terrific. Galicia Dudnik of the Soviet Union. Now, she scored a 10 in the compulsory competition. If she scores a 10 on this, this will be the first 20 compulsory and optional together in the competition thus far. I think Nadia Komenich was the first gymnast to score a 20 in the 76 Olympics for her uneven bars. Did either of you see that she missed anything in this routine? You can always pick a routine to pieces, particularly here in slow motion. Yeah, you can, you can find see little slight legs apart. So these are hard to see in regular time. And also, what, what's really important, the judges now can take, at least in the women's side, can take a half a tenth of a point deduction. Whereas before, they either had to decide whether to take a full tenth, or if they didn't think it was big enough, they wouldn't take any. 9.95 nine, is her score, so they did see a couple of little flaws and did deduct that, but not too bad. Still plenty more to come from the World Championships here in Stuttgart, and we'll have more right after this. It started in Japan in 1907 and became one of the most respected automobile companies in the world, Daihatsu. Introducing Daihatsu for 1990. Now arriving at your local Daihatsu dealer. The economical three-door hatchback. The distinctively styled four-door sedan. The exciting Rocky 4x4 soft top. And the dynamic Rocky hard top. Daihatsu. One of the most respected names in Japan for over 80 years. Daihatsu. No, 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 no. Over half a million times tonight, We'll be delivering in 30 minutes or less. Sometimes we even arrive a little early. So tonight, call us, because nobody delivers better than Domino's Pizza. Call Domino's Pizza right now and get two hot pizzas for one hot price. Nobody delivers better, so call now. Meanwhile, floor exercise, Lashenova, who at the risk of being redundant has also had a brilliant evening here with a 10 in the vault, a 995 on bars, and a 9962 on beam. Now this is detail. Watch her facial expression. Double layout, back handspring, straddle jump, punch front. Tumbles back the other way. Through to a double back. That's more difficulty in her first pass than most people have in their entire routine. If I were her, I'd stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> and just take your 10 and go home, right? This really is amazing. But what's so nice, on top of all the difficulty, the toe point, the execution, the perfect form. Whip back through to a double back. She's now done the equivalent of two routines. See what she has in store for the last tumbling run. 
A double bat. And another perfect landing. Beautiful. Now this is where you will see a 10. I can almost guarantee it. Because the one preceding here is a 995. Where do you go? I'd give her a 10 five. I'll tell you, they're applauding it on press row here. Paul Zert, man who's seen it all. Adney Bart next to me applauding. It was a terrific exercise. It's interesting to note, though, she cowboys her double backs really wide. Now, the judges have the option of taking that induction. It's an accepted technique, but it certainly isn't that pretty. I agree with you, Bart. Meanwhile, Silivash on the vault, and we've been talking about all the people who've been having great meets here. Silivash is having a great meet also. She does a Yurchenko full twist. Now, a lot of people get higher than this on this vault. But she gets quite a bit of distance. We're going to go back to Svetlana Bugunskaya. Now this is some fun choreography. Pike full in. I will tell you, Sidavash, a 9.95, and she has another vault coming. Pull in half twist, step out, due to a double twist. Very different choreography than the other Soviets. Finishes with a tuck double bat. Nice double turn to end the routine with. Crowd like this one, Buginskaya of the Soviet Union. And one is just better than the next. It's hard to believe that year after year for the past, I don't know how many years, the Soviets have turned out these gymnasts time and time again. 9.962 for Silivash on her second vault. So she continues to have a brilliant competition here. It's great to see Boganskaya performing at such a high level because three days after the Olympics in Seoul, her coach, Miromanova, Lubov Miromanova, died mysteriously. And it had a tremendous effect on Boganskaya. And of course, it's exciting to see that she's back and she looks terrific here oh. at the World Championship. Oh, what a sad story. And a 10 for Boganskaya. The judges knew what they were doing, they were saving it. If you shower with soap, this is what you're missing. Successfully clean. Never before. Never with soap. Successfully clean. You're not fully clean unless you successfully clean. Soap leaves a sticky film behind, but zest rinses clean away. Zest deodorant lathers, lathers you clean, then rinses you cleaner. With zest, you feel cleaner because you are cleaner. Zest fully, zest fully, zest fully clean. You're not fully clean unless you successfully clean. ESPN gives you a spectacular courtside view of NCAA basketball. Slam jam with color and excitement. Check out the sparkling sights and sounds of electrifying shootouts all season long. Big play in a T.O., baby. Four on two, alley -oop. It's awesome. Put a cap at the way. The excitement begins as tough teams battle at the Dodge NIT starting Wednesday, November 15th at 7.30 Eastern, live on ESPN. Of the United States, who just completed her routine on the balance beam here on videotape, a portion of that. She was so solid on this routine. Ran up a can spring, double back, the one step on the landing, scored a 9.9. .9. She was really having the event of a lifetime for her. I would have to say so, and I'm sure she would agree. This is the best I've ever seen her look. She has really worked hard. Final Soviet performer on floor, Olga Stradjeva. 
Luganskaya having just scored a 10 in the same event. Vashenova having a brilliant performance just before her. Hard to find any place that's up. Strong movements. Laid out one and three. Beautiful. That's a tough pass. Last tumbling run. Double bat. Interesting choreography. Olga Strajeva. And look at the teammates. They're loose now. They know they've won this competition. They've had one excellent performance in floor exercise after another. Vashenova and Buginskaya embrace her. Look at the American team. Good news, bad news for the Americans tonight. Randy Johnson on the balance beam recorded a moment ago. Nice Diamidoff on the balance beam. 9987, the score given to Stradjeva of the Soviet Union, the same score that Lashenova had. And Luganskaya with the perfect 10. Brandy's under a lot of pressure here. She's had two misses in the competition. It's tough to end up on balance beam. Two back hand swings, lay out, step out. It's a major break. She saves the ball, but it's still a major break. It's a 4-10 for the point shot. You were saying earlier that this apparatus, above all, after you've had a tough competition, is extremely difficult. It's hard to get your confidence back. Gain or lay out, step out. But as I said earlier, Brandy has done so much for USA Gymnastics. She's done so well. She won the American Cup, the USA Championships, five gold medals in East Germany. Unheard of for an American to do that. And she's caught the attention of everyone around the world. It's just unfortunate she's having a bad meet here. But this meet is not over for her, for any of these competitors. Still a long way to go. This is just the team competition. Exactly. She's made a great contribution to the team effort. Her score is counted in many instances as the high score. Double back dismount, trouble on the landing. And of course, the major break in the middle of the routine. And a look at Brandy Johnson, and it has not been the most pleasant of evenings for her, but she will have...